Hello students, welcome to Narayana Live class. Today I am going to discuss 10th class English Unit 4A that is Random with Ray. In that we are going to discuss one assignment. First of all, they have given in our question paper, once you see the paper, one word substitutes were given to us. What is one word substitute? For a lengthy meaning, a short word will be used that is a one word substitute means here. In the place of that lengthy meaning, we will insert a small word. Okay. So here they have given some words for us. A short stay between two places in one's journey. A short place. A short uh, waiting place. That is stop over we will call it. Is it clear? Next one. A person who brings out new books. A person who brings out new books will be called as publishers. Okay, next one. A group of three films that has the same character or subject that is called as a trilogy. In this lesson, we have come across Apu trilogy that is the sequence of three films with the same characters or same actors that is Apu trilogy movie. So, here trilogy is three uh, sequence of movies and with the same characters. Next one is fourth one an impressive entrance to a building. Entrance means portal. My first portal, he said in the lesson that is Gash Roberts word. Next one, a person who tries to make something less uh, good by criticizing it, that is a detractor. A person who criticizes others will be called as a detractor. Okay, next one, a big massive structure will be called as Colossus. Colossus is nothing but a big, uh, tall, have this uh, very empty shoulders, big structure that is. Next one, Seventh one is a branch of philosophy that studies that beauty in art. So that is aesthetic. Aesthetic is nothing but the explanation or the beauty. Beauty in the art. Uh, beautiful locations. Describing the beauty that is called aesthetic. Okay, next one. Using more words than needed is verbose. Verbose means here talking more. More than required. So that is why here verbose will be called. Next one. Ninth one is something designed uh, to teach people some things that is a didactic. So it is a didactic. And the last one is a person who is not sure about the existence of God. We said a person who believes uh, whether God exists. We said uh, he is in a dilemma that whether God exists or not. That type of people will be called as an agnostic. In our lesson about Satyajitra, they said that throughout his life he was agnostic here whether God exists or not. He was in uh, that mood. So that's why here he was called as agnostic. This is the one word substitution. Okay. Okay. Our next part is editing. Before going to discuss this, I want to tell you a few things about editing because of some parameters we have to discuss. In editing, whenever the sentence begins with a simple present or present tense, we have to see that in that sentence or in that paragraph, four tenses will be used. That is simple present, present continuous, present perfect, and simple future also will be added to that. Okay. Next, if a sentence begins with a simple past, we have to uh, look after this. Four or three tenses will be added. That is simple past, past continuous, and past perfect. So that a student must uh, be thorough with these seven tenses. Of course, he should have to learn, he or she should have to learn this all the 12 tenses. But for editing passage, we have to focus on this 7 tenses. Apart from that, we have to see the active voice, passive voice, total uh, this uh, parts of speech. And one more thing also, we have to uh, take care for this uh, simple compound and complex sentences. And editing especially, some missing words will be there. Some excess words will be there. Word order will be there. Person, number, gender. Okay, first person, second person, third person, first person, singular and plural. Second person, singular and plural, we have to look after. Third person, singular and plural. First person, singular is I. Plural is V. Okay, next, second person, singular is U. And as the same for plural also. Singular and plural, U only. And third person, singular, he, she, it. And plural is they. Okay, so he, whenever we use he, she, it, does should be used because third person singular. Whenever we use I, 
and we have okay uh, whenever we use i am so this uh, rules should be there and we have to remember in our we have to store in our mind so now here they have given few sentences in west bengal robert founded what robert founded chitrapani film institute he had founded in question they have given what what is given in the question so here in west bengal what robert founded so it is becoming a question what robert founded that is what robert means here it's a question right so actually here what happened in the passage in west bengal which robert founded in 1970 that is chitrapani we are talking about chitrapani in this passage chitrapani is a film institute okay so which was established by gas yes, robert in the year 1970 so which we said the film institute founded by whom the film institute which was founded by this robert so that's why we are using which next one uh, ray is in the first governing of its kind they had given so we are talking about the simple past in this sentence so that's why ray was in the first governing of institute next uh, from canadian agency is given in the passage so which is a canadian is here from so many organizations are there from that he is he had collected the funds for establishment of this uh, chitrabhan so canadian agencies plural form should be there okay next uh, for a few richer countries here feel is given this is a uh, dialogue okay so here um mm, feel should be there here F E E L because in question felt is given. Felt means it is a past tense, but here it is a dialogue. Whenever the dialogue will be there, that should be the present tense. So that's why here for a few richer countries like India are indebted to the countries, Western countries like that here they have given one passage. So that is feel. Next, year, the institute not only produced but also became breeding ground. See here, not only but also. This is a combination words like uh, so that to to when well, uh, as as like this uh, combination words which are used in a simple compound and complex sentences. Especially this uh, not only but also used in the complex sentence. Okay, so these are all the things we have to keep in our mind. Uh, uh, very very um, we have to keep in our mind that whenever not only will be there immediately but also in the same way. Two two also two two so that hardly scarcely okay so when next year, as soon as like this combination words we have to keep in our mind while. writing the editing passage okay ma'am so uh, this is about the editing few steps i have discussed with you people thank you we will meet once again in another session thank you one and all